Hey, Marcus Conti reporting. Going to talk about a little, uh, little Muslim hate. Muslim hate is in the air. Radical Muslims, Sira Law. Hey, Google, what is what is Sira Law? Sira Law. According to Wikipedia, Sharia is a religious law forming part of the Islamic tradition. Sharia Law. Thank you. Sharia Law breaks out in Brooklyn. That's what they say. They're driving around in Muslim cars. Muslims driving around in Muslim patrol cars. Uh Uh-oh. What are we going to find out? It's fake news. Fake news. Gotcha. Gotcha. A real enforcement agent calling out fake news. So I'm I'm intuitively, I'm very well situated to talk about this subject. Why? Because I happen to be in Brooklyn where it's happening. New York Muslims have a new security patrol. Let's talk about it. It's not that unusual. There's no Sharia law going on. It's fake news. So let's get right into it. So this is the uh, New York Post. Muslims have a new security patrol. Here's their car. Look at that. Patrol car. It looks like a cop car, right? MCP. It's got a cop logo on the side. Let's keep going. All right. So New York Muslim community has a new security group watching over it. A car from the new Muslim community patrol was spotted around the city joining the Jewish enclaves Shamrim and Brooklyn Asian Safety Patrol among New York's cultural specific groups. Right. They had a, a Ford Taurus. Oh, how bad. They the cops use Ford Tauruses, so you can't use one. Right. The insignia nearly identical to that of the NYPD patrol car. The insignia that they use is pretty close, right? Um, right. So the the idea that they also wrote on the side of the car, courtesy, professionalism, and respect. Very much similar to the um, to the uh, NYPD. Same deal. Vehicles were recently spotted cruising on Fifth Avenue in Brooklyn's Bay Ridge. I'm in Bay Ridge. I never saw one. Home to the burgeoning Muslim population. Right. So here's, here's what's going on, right? There's three communities in this area. There's Borough Park with the Hasidic Jews. You move a little uh, towards the shore on 8th Avenue is the Asian community. And you go a little further, and you have the Muslim community along Fifth Avenue, right? Everybody gets along. This is a big, this is big bullshit about nothing. So I'm going to play the. Uh, let's play. Let's play the. Um, let's play. Residents this. in New York say they're Check alarmed after seeing Muslim community patrols driving through their neighborhoods in what looked like police squad cars. One America's Pearson Sharp has the details. New Yorkers say they're shocked after seeing Muslim patrol cars roaming their neighborhoods like police squads. No, there's no names, right? It's just uh, uh, community people and 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 residents of New York. It's total bullshit. There's not a single name mentioned. It's all bullshit. That up to now, it's bullshit. These Muslim community patrols just began operating in Brooklyn this year. All right, wait. So stop right there. Let's go right back for a second. And according to the Council on American Islamic Rule, I just want to roll back in, in Brooklyn. This began operating in Brooklyn. So now let's check this picture out, right? You see, first of all, you see the 72nd precinct, right? They're standing in front of the police station, right? He's got his MCP car. He's, you know, the car is a Ford Taurus, a white Taurus, and it's stooped, it's it's decked out like a cop car because they want to be, they want to look professional and authentic but no cop caught no cop is allowed to wear an open beanie and a beard they could have a beard but they can't have a beanie like that you got to put your, you got there's only certain things that you can wear so they're not there's no gun right the vest is very similar the the windbreaker is very similar all right but the pet the point is that it's the, the photo was shot in front of a police station in brooklyn 72nd precinct now it's 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 you know ridiculous to think that the police didn't know the car exists. Here they are in front of the police station doing a photo op. And this year, and according to the Council on American Islamic Relations, they are the first of their kind in the United States. The patrols sprang up as an apparent response to some 14 biased incidents against New York Muslims in 2017. Actually, a rather low number, considering there's over 8.6 million people living in the city. 
According to the group's vice president, Noor Rabba, the group currently has 30 members, with 30 plans members. on rapidly expanding to cover the entire city. He describes the Muslim patrols like a neighborhood watch, but on steroids, with members dressed like police officers and driving cars identical to police squad cars. They're not dressed like police officers, and, it, and, the, and as we saw, the cars are not identical. They don't say police. They don't say NYPD. There's no badge. There's no gun. They're all volunteers. They have no arrest rights, no arrest power. Right. They're just community guys like the uh, Guardian Angels, for example, uh, and and two other groups. We have Sharim, the, the Jewish, you know, Nazis. We're going to talk about them. Right. And and the Asian group has one, too. So let's let's um, let's continue with this. Residents say they're uncomfortable with the patrols, which they describe as being similar to Sharia police. Other What residents? There's no residents. John Carill, Carillo. He's a who the hell is this guy? Sharia police in Brooklyn. It, it's bullshit. One one car showing uh, Muslim, you know, solidarity or whatever it is. It's just, you know, first of all, they speak Arabic, which is helpful when the police show up and there's something going wrong. Right. Others have raised doubts about the purpose of the patrols, saying New York's police department is already very diverse and their only job is to patrol the city streets and protect people from harassment or crime. So why does there need to be a Muslim group tasked with the same job as the police? It's a good question, but why does there also need to be a Jewish group and an Asian group? AON fails to mention that. Even other Muslims have raised questions about the need for the patrols, with residents expressing fears. This is just... Residents, other Muslims, but there's no evidence. Nobody, they, they, don't, they don't name a single source. Who? Get somebody on the record. Just another form of Sharia law enforcement. Similar and there's the smear, Sharia law enforcement, right? Just another form. Expressing fears. This is just another form of Sharia law enforcement. What other form of Sharia law enforcement in the city? They just said it's unprecedented. Right? So, so it's, a, it's bullshit. Total bullshit. Similar groups can already be seen in other major European cities in Denmark, right, Germany, so an, France. So that's enough out of that one. So... Here's um, New York uh, Muslim Community Patrol creeping Sharia. This is like a right wing, I guess, Uncle Sam's misguided children. <laughs> All right. Uncle Sam. Uh, so, again, the New York police have been allow allowing civilians and culturally specific groups to patrol specific areas within the city. Yeah, they stay in their own community. The, group have, the groups have their own patrol cars and uniforms. Whoop the fucking do. Shira law patrols. Again, it's not the point of the whole thing is that it's not uncommon. Right? Here you see it's in Arabic. So it's not an identical car, right? right? If a guy like this walked up to you in the street, you know, two, you know, two Muslim, you know, community guys, you say, hey, great. We, we, we can I get some good shish kebab? That, that's about it. Or good falafel. That's, that's about the only question you would ask these guys, right? So, um, Here's some uh, some Hasids and in, in, but here's the here's the car right here's the one in Brooklyn we're gonna see more of this these are the Brooklyn see the, the picture on the bottom right there it says Brooklyn Asian Security Patrol and you see they got the same the same um, thing right here with the with the uh, the same writing from the police courtesy professionalism and respect that's identical. So the Asians did it, but the but when the Muslims did it, now it's Sharia law. It's all hell's going to break loose, right? Here's the Asians, right, in their little community group, right, and they got the same those same vests, the same windbreakers that the cops use. Their hats have the emblem on it, right? See the emblem. This is real, by the way. This is see you see how this is uh, authentic, and um, you see the middle part of my logo. Is is that uh, is Lady Liberty or the Lady Justice with the balance beam, whatever fuck she is? Right? And um, so here's a, here's a good point, right? The cops in the the fake cops, civilian uh, observation patrol, right? See, cop civilian observation patrol patrol, right? 
uh, are actually, they're actually calling themselves cops, the Asians. But here's the thing. The cop volunteers uh, speak English, Mandarin, Cantonese, Fujianese, Taiwanese, Tazianese, not Taiwanese. Uh, so they speak, the, the point is that the community groups speak the native, the, the native uh, uh, lingo. Right? They speak the different languages. So in case the police on the scene don't know what's going on, they could, rather than prosecuting someone who can't speak English or Cantonese or Mandarin, whatever the cop speaks, they have people that can speak those languages and help out the community. So it does make sense. All right, so here is, uh, what is this? So this is more of, this is more of the Asian cops, right? So you see, you see, um, hey, stop doing it. What's going on? <laughs> so you see... Um, the Asian Asian uh, cop car. I don't know why my, my shit is going like that. <laughs> All new stuff here, right? So Brooklyn Asian cop. Cop. Right? No outrage. No mention in AON that got 25, 250,000 views spreading fake news, OAN. Fake news, OAN. Calling you out, man. Right? Cop. And I think it was... Uh, Laura, Laura Jumer, Loomer, Jumer, whatever her name is, right? The, 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 the Jew, right? The, the fucking, she's saying too, Sierra Law, right? It's not fucking Sierra Law. You guys are a bunch of liars. Stop the bullshit. All right, so here's the car, Sh Shamrim, Shamrim, right? They got the same car as the cops, the little, those little scooters. They got a command center, right? They got the little scoot sharum. It looks like a like a you know a cop car, a cop com command center. Right. The point is that there's no mention. There's no mention whatsoever. Right. So uh, what the hell is this? I don't even know what this is. So here's the Asian cops, Asian cops. Right. All uh, right. So they're hanging out with the cops. Everybody knows they're. Right? It's 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 rubber stamped. Is what I'm trying to say. Right. And now here's a real story. This is this is messed up, right? So, Sham, so the Muslim patrol has no because it's new to give them the benefit of the doubt is relatively new, and has um, no infractions, no violence. They're welcomed in the community, but not so much for the Hasids. So check this video out, man. Right? Watch this. We're following a developing story that hits close to home for members of the Williamsburg community. This is all the way back in 2014. In charge of keeping the area safe are now charged with gang assault. Members of the Neighborhood Watch Patrol are accused of attacking a young man on Flushing Avenue back on December 1st. Our Amanda Placenzi is there with the latest development. This is up in Borough Park. This is up in um, Flushing, Williamsburg. It's not Borough Park. It's a different neighborhood, but it's the same concentration of Hasidic Jews tonight amanda and these communities are always bordering on a black community right they're bordering the the, the jews patrol against the the, the blacks because they don't like the blacks right and and the jews now also don't like the muslims <laughs> who's the cause of the problem you figure it out Yes, Kevin, five members of a Williamsburg neighborhood watch group have now been indicted for the brutal gang assault of Taj Patterson. Now, cops say the attack happened right here on Flushing this Avenue. Guy right here. Public advocate Leticia James and other local leaders took action right after the attack, demanding justice. Last December, the 23-year-old black man was walking home near Flushing Avenue and Spencer Street in Williamsburg. According to court documents, members of the Williamsburg safety patrol group, commonly known as Shamrim, began to chase Patterson down the street. He was jumped by about 15 members who savagely beat him up. Elected officials... So that's the same, that's him right here, see? Shamrim. They beat the shit out of the kid. You'll say the men also yelled anti-gay slurs during the attack. Patterson had multiple slurs. injuries to his head and his body, and he even lost his sight in one of his eyes. Five men 
Pinchas Graver, Joseph Freyd, Mayor Herskovic, Aaron Hollander, and Abraham Winkler have been charged with gang assault in the first degree, among other charges. Each could face up to 25 years in prison if they are convicted. Commissioner Braddon spoke out about the investigation. The department from the very beginning very aggressively investigated that uh, crime. It was a very serious crime with incredibly serious injuries caused to the victim. Uh, we initially uh, looked at it as a potential hate crime and brought the hate crime unit into the investigation. See, the point is, where that's a real cop. That's Brandon, the, the head of the police in 2014. Uh, but where's the where's the where's the real news? Why did why is is OAN and the the far right, I guess they're called. Right? Why are they smearing the Muslims at this point in the game? How, aren't we didn't we get past that? And why do you fail to mention the the uh, the the clear uh, uh, idea that the Jews have it? And also the the Sharim Shamrim, sorry, Shamrim. Uh, the lead guy was also accused of rape, right? One, he was ra he raped a 16-year-old girl over the course of two years. I don't know whatever happened with that case, but these are, these guys are no saints, right? So, so there you go. So, um, you know that that's what's going on in this, right? So here's here's Mr. Uh, fucking this kid got his ass kicked by the Hasidic the Hasidic police. <laughs> so. So that's that's what's going on right there, man. You know, it's it's fake news. I've I've ex my personal experience, right, is that I was an enforcement agent, right, in the in all three of these communities, in the uh, all four actually, in the black community too, in Bedford Stuyvesant, along Eighth Avenue, the Chinese community, the the uh, Borough Park, and Flushing, uh, the Hasidic communities, and uh, along. Um, Fifth Avenue, the the uh, Muslim community. I've 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 been all over Brooklyn. They also go a little s further south, and you're in the Mexican community along Third Avenue. Dominicans, Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, right in Sunset Park. Look, I know I know this area. I I've eaten I've eaten in every you know falafel joint along Fifth Avenue. I shop in the in the Chinese grocery store on Eighth Avenue. The only I've, I've eaten uh, 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 rice and beans a hundred times in the Mexican area, right? But the only area, in my view, that is not friendly and not, you know, user-friendly is the Hasidic community, right? In not so much Williamsburg, where this, you know, uh, the, the violence happened, but in Borough Park, you go there and you're like, if you're not Jewish, you, all the stores are Jewish. They speak Hebrew on the street. They look at you like you're fucking... Like you're an alien, you feel out of place when you're in the, but but not in the other communities. You always feel welcome in the Muslim community, in the Chinese community, in the in the. Uh, so this is straight up fake news. Why? Because the car resembled a police car, but there's no no one's going around with you know Sharia law saying you know that uh, women get to the back of the bus and right. They, look, they, Muslim Muslim. A place like Saudi Arabia, where there's grotesque, you know, violations of human rights is one thing. But th to say that that's happening in Brooklyn is is uh, rather ridiculous, really, you know. So. So if you my, Marcus Conti reporting kindly, if get, become a Patreon, please. I right? fucking I'm choking over here. Right. <laughs> become a Patreon if you want to keep um, you want to keep in the loop on this kind of news. Uh, we're just getting started. Pretty pleased with sugar. Become a Patreon if you'd like to make a one-time um, uh, donation to this channel. Use the PayPal link. Uh, and let's keep real news going. This is real news. Real news. Marcus Conti reporting.